Hi, this is Greg with a computer support video, and this is a brief video showing you how to add a voiceover narration to an existing Camtasia project. So this assumes that you're familiar with Camtasia and that you have a project already recorded. In a previous video, I showed how to do a screen capture and, and capture the audio and video of uh, an interactive on-screen presentation. So here, let me just show you briefly what you're going to want to do. This assumes you have your project is already down here on the timeline, and you may have done some edits and transitions with that. To add the narration, you want to go up here to the upper left-hand corner and choose the option where it says Voice Narration. Now, initially this may seem pretty simplistic, but there are actually some details that if you overlook them, it can create some problems. So, down here are the settings. Rec record track, it says. Well, there's already uh, a video track and an audio track down here, Audio 1. So, we don't want to overwrite our Audio 1 and we don't want to merge with that because we may want to do a second take on our narrative uh, narration. So, I'm going to choose Audio 2. Audio 1 is the default, so I'm going to choose Audio 2. And then recording duration, the default here is until the end of the selected uh, selection on timeline. I'm just going to say um, until the end of the timeline, actually. So we don't have to worry about it stopping right in the middle of while we're talking. And once those things are set up, you notice the volume meter is indicating that the computer and the software program does hear what I'm saying. Um, but the way we were able to achieve that is to go into Audio Setup Wizard. Okay, and that'll bring up this audio setup wizard for Camtasia. And you want to make sure your audio device, in this case, I'm using a, a nice little USB um, microphone here. You want to choose that from the list. So there's line in, we don't want that. Here's microphone, but that's a different microphone. Here's another microphone at the bottom, but that's a headset microphone. So you have to make sure of the three microphones on the list, you have the one that's number four. It says USB audio device. And make sure it doesn't say something about C Media USB headset, or at least you see the first part of headset there. So it's because we've selected the right audio device there and microphone that that's okay. And if you click the next button then, here you'll see next, it's going to want you to walk through an automatic adjustment, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and just talk naturally, placing our face kind of close to the microphone, adjusting the input level, and what you want to see is in this upper one-third area, you're going to spend most of your time up in there as you're talking. And you'll see that meter. You don't want it to be looking like this where it's red all the time. Notice, um, here let me bring that up, notice here where it's red all the time, that's not right. So you want to, you know, get away from the microphone a little bit, bring the recording level down a little bit, make sure that's correct. It's better to adjust it manually. And then go ahead and click on finish. And as with most of these videos, you never know when there will be a call coming in. I'm going to ignore that one. And um, uh, so basically that's it. So we're ready to go. And now I'm going to go up to the Start Recording button. And what happens down below as I'm recording is you can see here the timeline is progressing and I'm adding a narrative track to this. I could be listening through headphones if I wanted to to the existing um, action in the background, but I'm not going to do that for this demonstration. So when I'm done, I'm going to push Stop Recording and I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, just as test for now as a test. And what you'll notice now down below, if I expand out, notice I can expand out this timeline, we'll see there's an audio track that's been added, audio 2, and that's the narration. We can go back and edit that and delete that or whatever as, as we see fit. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the finished button, which will take me back to Camtasia, you know, the main page. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks.